you okay see you guys so i'm trying out this new nail angle i'm so sorry if this like moves a lot um i'm gonna try not to bump the table as much as possible so today i'm gonna be uh doing the other hand of this nail set i actually just did this and i thought oh my god i could be filming this um i'm gonna bring it up closer to you on these like box of nail tips so you can really see it
I was actually so embarrassed. So the person who I did these nails for, um, she actually had ordered another set, right? And, oops, I actually turned off my light. Um, by the way, sorry if this is like super bright for an ASMR video. Um, I try to be like mindful of my lighting, but I just have to see my nails. So uh, this might seem super bright. day today. I um, slept in pretty late and then on top of sleeping in um, I got up I worked on those nails I showed you in the beginning of the video and um, I made myself a salad for like a breakfast lunch type sort of thing I can, I'm so sorry if you a little disappointing but you know I'm very we're very lucky 
lucky to have somebody like her in our lives that can like tell us and stuff. And the nice thing is, is we're going to be saving money when we buy a house when we do it because she, um, she's told us that uh, like when we do have a house that she essentially is going to cover our closing costs by um, giving us everything she owes, like earns in commission from selling us the house, which normally will cover our closing costs, um, which will be nice. But yeah, and if we are still in Ohio when we do buy our house, um, like, um, like I guess there's like a lot coming to Ohio, like Ohio's plenty of putting in like a monorail, uh, which I didn't even know about, but my mom said that they're planning to do that and like they're planning for a huge population increase within the next like few years or so because um, I don't know if something specific that people are coming to Ohio for. So, all right, so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and cure it over here. And I cure this for 90 seconds. She, she says that it's not a good idea to uh, put very little down. She says that we should have at least like 10% or more of whatever the cost is. So she said to at least have like a good 15 grand just ready to throw into buying the house. And then you need at least another three more grand. And that's to cover for like an inspection. Most likely what's gonna happen is where we'll get engaged and then we'll probably just go to the courthouse and like get legally married and then have like a ceremony like maybe like next year or something when we have a little bit more just money or just wait till we have money in general and we can just like renew our vows or something at that ceremony. Literally how 
also fuck is there a hair on this like where did you even come from okay so when that happens
like his job he makes like commission and stuff like that so like he makes pretty decent money and then um on top of that like he already is in a position where he's probably going to be getting promoted pretty soon so it's like i don't know i feel like i need to do the same so now we're gonna jump into this beetles polish this is d334 it is a polish but we're not gonna use like a magnet or anything we just want the shimmer uh because i don't have like a really nice pink chrome for this like what color i'm trying to achieve so this is what i'm using and i think it's very very gorgeous it's a really gorgeous pink This is a very opaque um, shade, so we are not going to have to worry about doing that. Go. Alright, and we're going to cure. And we got our base coats all set and done. And I'm going to cure that twice for 90 seconds. And just make sure these are shut. essentially um, get a new job that might not be as easy and as an enjoyable so but if it means better money and better hours then you know so be it because I, I have been getting more hours at this job but it's still not 40 hours a work week so um, yeah starting with a thumb and I'll just use like the brush to get the pigment on because these are like pretty long nails and then we'll do the French tip but I'm very I'm also going to compare this so I can kind of see it's pretty good actually it was really really bad I'm just going to 
just gonna scrape some stuff on the side so I can pick it up with my art brush here. My first few strokes are always gonna be messy. I'm not really worried about um, being perfect. excited to get him his gifts because I went out with my friend um, yesterday I guess two days ago technically since it's like god damn it I changed them <laughs> there it is I went out with my friend the other day and I got some stuff um, for Valentine's Day for my boyfriend which that's going to be a video of, um, of me putting together his like gift I want to get him like some matching shoes because like I said I have been working more hours and I could probably afford to like swing that right now but um, none of these shoes that I've picked out um, I don't think he likes them so I haven't I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end the card or whatever I'm just gonna say like new shoes on me something I don't know I haven't decided I feel like I'm so bad at gift giving for my boyfriend he's like I just like feel like I never know what he would want but he, it's just because he always gets himself the things that he wants so it's like I don't know it's like not much for me to get him because he has already gotten Just gonna, I'm like getting like really up in my own shit, so it's kind of hard to. some pretty cute stuff that I think he'll like. But I'm gonna clean it up like I'm sure you see like that mess. It'll get cleaned up, don't you worry. Oh my god, let me tell you about something that's kind of bothering me. Oh my god, I just totally fucked that line up. Whatever. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I have two So they're finishing up high school. Okay, so my one younger brother, he's done with high school. My other younger brother, this is his last year in high school. Okay, right? So they're young, you know. Oh, I feel like that's not even the fuck. It's not. I'm like, I'm comparing it to the other nail I have. to start filming after a very successful set and now it's like the most unsuccessful like little 
single thing I've done in a minute. Like, how embarrassing, bro. But anyway, let's get into my story time so you don't focus on me fucking this nail absolutely up. <laughs> so, essentially, right? You know, my brothers are young. I'm getting some acetone out there. Right? That's what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I love my brothers. My brothers are very interesting uh, people to see stuff about them nicely. describe him is kind of like like a man of war with anxiety I know that might sound so stupid but it's just like yeah that's my brother okay so that's the cleanup to get it to like more closer to this shape um, just so you understand like So anyway, right, now my mom has someone that she's a friend, has friends with, who is older than I am. Okay, so I don't know how much older, but I know she is considerably older than I am. Like, I want to say a good few, like, I don't know, anywhere from like, like, I feel like it's like about six years older than I am, give or take. Which isn't, I guess, that much older, but, like, it's six years, you know what I'm saying? And she lives with my mom now, um, which is fine, whatever, I don't care about that. Oh my god, I'm gonna actually say very terrible, nasty things because I can't get this nail to look cute. I think I might just actually give up. You know, they don't have to be... this nail. Definitely don't want to scream at the top of my lungs or anything. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so, um, I am, like, very nice to this girl. I don't think there's anything wrong with her, um, except she had, like, an interaction with my, one of my brothers that was really bizarre. And what I mean by that is, mind you, Right, our age difference is anywhere from like minimum like three to six, three to like five, maybe six years, right? Which means that the age difference between her and my brothers is very much more, right? And, um, okay, skip that one for the French. This one's next. And she had an interaction with my younger brother who like, essentially, like, they were flirting. Now, here's the thing. I know how, like, my younger brothers are. I mean, my brother is, like, him flirting with her does not surprise me. But what surprises me and kind of disgusts me a little bit is that she was, like, she acted like she was disgusted and literally, like, my mom forced him to, like, apologize to her and, like, made this huge deal out of, like, him being really disrespectful and, like, stuff like that. And then turns around and is, like, looking up the age of, like, consent in Ohio. Like, started being weird. And this happened, like, I want to say, I want to say, like, a year or so ago. Or, yeah, about a year ago, right? was weird because I was like not understanding the situation like I knew yeah like he shouldn't be like flirting with her and he knows that that's like weird but at the same time why is she allowing him to like say those things and like why is she looking at the age of consent like it's weird and I'm just like what is happening here and 
So I, um, I asked him if he had like feelings for her and he was like, no, I was just like, I was just drunk. Like, that's just what I said when I was drunk. Um, and I was like, okay, whatever. And anyway, I go over to my mom's house, like I said, right tonight. And they're like, she's like talking about how I think, like she literally was like, I think he's the one for me, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what the fuck are you on about? Like, he is like barely 18 years old. No, I don't even think he's 18. I think he's 17. And when I, I know you're like, oh my God, he's your brother and you don't know how old he is. Um, he's like, technically not my biological brother. I don't care that he's not my biological brother. But like, um, like, that's fucking weird, bitch. And like, I was like keeping my mouth shut. But like, I'm like looking over at my mom. And my mom is just like looking back at me like, what? And essentially like, what the reason that they were even talking about this is like one of my mom's like childhood best friends like made a passing comment to her that she thinks that she should get with my other younger brother which is also like what are you talking about um you shouldn't be getting with any of my brothers because you literally are a grown woman who has known them for i don't know how long and it is incredibly inappropriate and so as she's like telling me this story like expecting me to be outraged which I am I'm outraged that she said that she thinks that they should be like together but I'm also outraged because why are you talking about my other brother like that you shouldn't be talking about either of them like that and <laughs> and so I stopped her and I was like wait so like are you are you what what is going on like are you dating and she was like well, no, that's inappropriate. Okay, so, so we know, right? We, we're on the same page that this age gap, right, is inappropriate. Yet, my mom goes, well, yeah, for now. Ex excuse the fuck out of me. Ex excuse me? Fuck, I just fucked that up so bad. And I was like, it's forever going to be inappropriate. And I was like, she goes, well, when they're both adults, bitch, this is the definition of fucking grooming. She has known him since he was like, what, 14? 14 years old. That's fucking weird. And not only is that weird, but that's incredibly inappropriate. And mom was like, yeah, they've had discussions about it and blah, 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 blah. And, like, I just wanted to slap her across the fucking face. Because here's the thing that pisses me off about this, like, a lot. Is, okay, we're going to cure them. Um, my mom and every significant other other than my biological father has been considerably older than her. And I do think that's fucking weird. Um, I don't have a big issue with age differences. Um, as long as you... Like, they're both consenting adults. Adults. Like, I'm not talking about, like, an 18-year-old and a 37-year-old. I mean, like, someone who's, like, 37 and, like, someone who's 48. Like, cool. I don't care. Do I find it a little odd? Sure. Because it's like, what the fuck do you have in common? I personally don't get it. But, like, I'm not an adult. I'm not that old. So, it's like, whatever. You know, who am I to comment on it? But, like, this shit's fucking bonkers to me. Like, absolutely bonkers. It's like you cannot be getting with somebody that has known you since you were literally a fetus like that's so fucking disgusting to me and so i'm just sitting there feeling the most disgusted more so uncomfortable like i literally wanted to like hit my mom hit her because it's like not like hit but like slap like slap some fucking sense in me like what the fuck are you talking about um and so like we ended up leaving right and kira and i are like what the fuck are they talking about like what the fuck and so i'm like waiting till tomorrow but i'm probably i don't know i'm probably not gonna call my mom but i'm probably gonna text her and be like that conversation made me incredibly uncomfortable because jake is a child i don't care like you can be 18 but you are not an adult you are a kid i don't care like 
you are a kid. I still think I'm a kid. I'm 21 years old and I would still say that I'm a child. I'm an adult with adult responsibilities, but mentally I am not anywhere near to like what a 26 year old is. Right? And I feel like majority of people would agree with that. Like, so I'm just like, I don't know. I'm like really disgusted. I feel weird. And it's like, not only that, but like the audacity of this bitch to be like, because I was like, like when they said that they should, she, the lady said that she should date my other younger brother. I was like, that is so fucking weird because you're basically like a sibling we never had. You can't and you can't agree with that and be like, yeah, we act like we're siblings and then want to fuck one of the other siblings. That is not how that fucking works, you fucking freak. Like, I thought she was so, so like, fine and cool, but, like, this shit, I literally am disgusted. Like, I'm disgusted. All right, we're gonna use Blue Mage on this. So, I just, like, I don't know, and it's, like, what do I even say to my mom? Because it's like, obviously my mom doesn't give a fuck. And it's like, I know if I say something to my mom, it's just like, oh, I'm I'm a hater. Or, oh, I'm making a bigger deal out of like something that's not like, or only thing that matters is if like, he's comfortable and whatever. But it's like, say like my fucking younger brother was like a girl and say that this woman was a man. I know damn fucking well that we would not, you would not be acting like this right now. And I hate to say that because I feel like people who go like, oh, but if the roles were reversed, it would be, but like, genuinely, what the fuck are you talking about right now? This, he is a child. He's a child. Like, this is so fucking gross and weird. Like, I don't know. I'm just... I'm disgusted and I'm disappointed and yeah I'm just gonna use the end of this because I can't find my little daughter dotting tools I don't know where they went um, so I just like needed to talk about that because I was just like ain't no way I just actually went through that And it's just, it's just so fucked up to me because it's like, it's like, how are you living with, you know, somebody? And I'm going to take this color. Like, how are you li actively living with somebody and like preying on a child? And again, like, I understand it's not like, you know, he's like a minor minor, but he's still a fucking minor, bro. I don't know, it's just weird as fuck to me, and I think that that's disgusting and weird, and I don't like it, and it makes me really uncomfortable. Alright, and I'm gonna let that do its thing for a minute to let it, to really let it, like, do its thing. Um, but yeah, like, I just, like, had to fully, like, sh shut my mouth, because I just, I... just white polish and I'm gonna just put a bunch at the bottom here. But yeah, I'm just like kind of like oh I don't know. I don't know you guys. I don't know. <sighs> because like would I be saying the stuff that I'm saying to you to their faces? Probably not, but I'm just like I'm just disgusted. I don't know. And now we're gonna mix it with that acetone. Alrighty, and I'll come back and 
I'll show you the finished product. Sorry for like possibly just going bonkers in the last clip. It's just like <sighs> that stuff like really bothers me. So it's just like I don't know. Like I don't know how as a parent. I'm sorry if you just heard my throat make a weird ass noise. That's so sexy. Like I just don't know how as a parent you can allow that. So we're gonna make a dot like that, like in the rough center. It's not perfect, doesn't need to be. I like so like I think the best thing to do is like flip it backwards and then make adjustments from there. stylistic choice is just me being bad at art <laughs> but you know okay there she is in all her glory and we're just gonna repeat that process essentially just in different spots depending on which nail it is so repeat that process. I swear to God, like, knowing that I'm filming this is, like, making me so bad. <laughs> like, I just want it to be perfect. Oh my God, I just, like, really fucked it up more. I think I'm just like also extra shaky because, well, not only because I'm filming this, but like it's also like four in the morning. Because I, when I like stop filming, I'm like addictively watching TikTok. I'm not a fan of that last one, but I don't really care. Alright, and then this one's gonna be like over here on the side. using my body to study my hands. Well, see what I mean?
So then we're gonna take this. So this is 3D sculpture gel. And most of the time what I'll do is I push stuff out and then I use a brush. But recently I haven't been doing that and I feel like that's been working a lot better. And just using it in like, I don't know if it's like intended to be used just as like a regular applicator, but I've been liking it a lot more. using this to get a good like nice 3d effect all right and that's all we're gonna do sorry if it's not focusing nothing like crazy see what I'm doing. Alright, I'm gonna wipe my brush off and then go back in and take excess off here so we can really get the 3D effect. See what I mean? back on and we're going to give it another cure and I'm going to cure that twice um, and then we're going to use my Beatles top coat top gel this is just like regular gel uh, no I mean yeah it's regular gel glossy top coat um, I'm not a huge fan
I got a pretty good deal on them, so. my phone is like literally right about to die. Let's see if I can finish this before it does. Try not to use too much top coat on this. Because like I said, I want to really maintain I just feel like I could pass like out of my phone every day. Oh my gosh, what's so funny is my um, my boxers on and my boxers are on backwards. And I know that they're on backwards. I know since like I got home and I like it's just now starting to bother me for some reason. Like that they're on backwards. It's like not even that serious, but my brain is like, why? Like why are you doing that to yourself? Oh my gosh, I could Instagram.
I'm just gonna. 